Todd, jury deliberations in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial will continue this morning after Black Lives Matter protesters and Rittenhouse supporters clashed outside the courthouse. Here to react to that, David Webb, Fox News contributor and host of Reality Check with David Webb on Fox Nation. Good to see you this And on morning. set with you. That's right. I'm so happy that you woke up early to be here. That's very impressive. And all decked out in red, white, and blue as well. I do want to um, talk to you about what we just mentioned. What was happening outside the courthouse yesterday? because some people worry that it will affect what's happening inside the courthouse as well. Here's Alan Dershowitz on that very topic. Listen to his perspective. When you have the crowd outside threatening jurors and jurors hearing it, it clearly has an impact. So I worry that whatever the verdict, it will be a result more of what was outside the courtroom than it was inside the courtroom. Yeah, and David, somebody on MSNBC even said that they spoke to some of these uh, protesters yesterday, and they said that their goal was to try and sway the jury. So is this jury intimidation? What Could this actually affect the outcome? Well, look, it's an attempt to do this, and, <clears throat> excuse me, I saw this in Ferguson. I was there the night the verdict came down outside the police station in the firehouse. And throughout the trial, they did the same thing in St. Louis. They tried to turn the jury. Good jurors won't go for this. Yeah. Good jurors have the law. They see that counts have been thrown out. They've seen a prosecution that's gone completely wrong for the prosecution. And they've seen a fair judge who's been tough on both sides to present the case as it is. Could there be a juror that swayed? Yes. But my question to everyone watching is, why would a juror be swayed when the facts are in front of them? You can't dispute that he was 17 yeah. when they attempted to charge him as an older adult. You can't dispute the counts that were thrown out. You can't dispute the fakery and the lies about Rosenbaum and the others involved in the attack and the lies that were told about whether he pointed the gun first or whether it was self-defense. Yeah, and I was listening to Judge Janine last night and she also said that she trusts the jury system as well. Um, the other thing that a lot of people are talking about right now is the judge's decision not to sequester the jury. And it's sort of um, an uh, honesty, just, you know, he's saying don't talk to anybody, don't watch the news, but it's sort of a, it's up to them. It's up to the jury. Do, do, why weren't they sequestered? Well, look, I don't know if there was a lack of, I wouldn't say lack, I don't know if there was enough of a security issue in this case. Mm. These jurors are going to be protected. That is likely the case. They won't let them just be out there on their own. But you've got to trust your jury. The American system yeah. is based on a jury of your peers, on jurors that are trusted to do the job. And sequestering them is also another way for the protesters to potentially send a message. They can use that against the jury. Yeah. But we haven't heard about threats against their families. So no, far, but it's that's not even thing. the threats. It's also, it's just a matter of changing your opinion. If you hear, you know, there are 500 National Guard troops, and it's a lot for somebody to say, you know, this decision uh, of the safety of the community could be weighing on what I decide. But like you said, you you trust jurors to make the uh, the right decision according to the law. Uh, that's such a big job. Uh, the other thing is that I was looking at some of the um, protesting that took place outside the courthouse yesterday and the signs, the signs that people were holding. One of them said um, self-defense is not a crime. That's a, a pro Kyle Rittenhouse right. sign. And then you have the signs that say convicted killer Kyle, all spelled in K is KKK. Why has this become such a, a polarizing trial that the nation has um, become so laser focused on? Because the hardcore left, the leftists in this country under whatever name, whatever they want to call themselves, are out to take down the American system. Kyle Rittenhouse is the target yeah. because he's available at the moment. They'll go to someone next. Like Ferguson, they went to Darren Wilson, the hands up, don't shoot, lie, and they'll use it in whatever way they can to push their narrative. There was another sign out there, a big red flag that said, revolution now. That is not something that's involved in a trial. We're talking about Marxists, leftists, Antifa, fakery in the Black Lives Matter movement, the grift that has taken millions, actually yeah. hundreds of millions of dollars out of American corporations that has taken people and given them nothing. Right. This is really not about race. It's about using it as yeah. a weapon yeah. against the And American the jury people. is going to be deliberating again today, and we could get a, a verdict today. We're going to have to wait and see how, how that plays out. So while that is playing out in Kenosha. Uh, we are here in Florida celebrating the Patriot Awards. What does this award show mean to you? 
Well, you know, I, I remember this, and for me, and just for everyone, this was the watch I wore the very first day we launched Fat Fox Nation. So I'm proud to wear it. This platform, like America, has opened up more people's eyes. It, it, you've got information, entertainment, history. I love it. And, and now that COVID's over, yep, we can I'm all back get together to and celebrate. I, I'm, I'm so glad that you were here. <laughs> Thank you so much for kicking us off the right way. We appreciate it, David.